This is a lecture that explains where the limit process comes from. You can find later videos on actually how to do the limit process on an actual function later on in the wiki if you will continue to look down below this video. But basically all this video does is show you where the limit definition of a derivative comes from. It comes from this. If you know that a derivative is just a slope, specifically a slope of a tangent line, so maybe we know that a tangent line is a line that touches a function in one and only one spot. So let's say that I had a line that touched this red line right there at this blue dot right there. Okay, and we know that this is a tangent line. If we want to know the slope of this tangent line, we would need to do the slope formula, which you remember from Algebra 1 is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so you need two ordered pairs. Well, this doesn't have two ordered pairs. This only has one ordered pair. So that's why we need to make this tangent line be a secant line, which means it's going to go through both of these blue dots. And that way I have two ordered pairs right here. Okay, so now that I have two ordered pairs, I can put these ordered pairs in the slope formula. So let's establish what these ordered pairs are. Let's just say that this is some random x-coordinate. We'll just call it x. Then the function's value at x, this line is f of x. This function's value at x, we'll just say is just called f of x. It's the function's value at this x-coordinate. Let's say that I establish some distance between these two pairs, and we'll call that distance delta x. Let's say I establish some distance here, and this distance is added to this x-coordinate, so that now this x-coordinate is whatever my first one was, plus however much that distance is. And you might, this might be more, uh, make more sense to you if this was a 2 and this distance was a 3 then this x coordinate would be a 5 so if these were all numbers this would probably be pretty easy to understand okay so I have this new x coordinate which is called x plus delta x wherever I was at on the number line here plus whatever distance this is now that's where I'm at the number line here so what I need to do is come up with where this function's value is at this ordered pair for x with, I mean the rest of the ordered pair for this x coordinate and that would be f of x plus delta x since this function tells you whatever y value tells you a y value for whatever x value you put in this y value is the function's value at x plus delta x okay so applying that same slope formula that I learned earlier to these two ordered pairs well these ordered pairs are x plus delta x comma f of x plus delta x for this ordered pair see here's my x and here's my y and this ordered pair right here is x comma f of x if I do the slope formula with this ordered pair and this ordered pair as in y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You'll notice that on the bottom the x's will cancel and I get f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x. This would be a pretty good approximation for the slope of this line if this were the real tangent line at this green dot. But this is not the real tangent line slope the real tangent line needs to be more about like this. And so, if we wanted a better approximation, we might be able to move this dot down closer or closer or closer or closer or closer. And the closer this blue dot gets to this green dot, will make a better approximation for the slope of this tangent line. Now, the two dots can't actually touch because then we wouldn't have two different ordered pairs to use on our slope formula. We'd only have one ordered pair. And so, we have to say, well, let's just make these ordered pairs get really, really close. In other words, let's push this x-coordinate closer and closer and closer to that one. 
So let's let this delta x right here, this distance, approach zero. That way this gap closes, and the closer these two dots are, the better approximation for the slope of the tangent line at this green dot. So what I need to do is come over here and make this a limit and let delta x go to zero. So I'm using a slope formula where the distance between the two points is almost zero, like so close that it's basically zero, it's just not. Again, it can't be zero because then you wouldn't have two ordered pairs to do a slope formula. And this right here is your limit definition of a derivative.